Big shout out to Air Cold Motorworks Tool and Die. Uh, now I have a, a jam nut for this stupid starter bolt, so I don't have to play, you know, proctology exam so much. Good job. Right, guys welcome back to the channel uh this is uh, right uh, i don't know hot on the heels of the last episode where we put this thing right back together so this one hopefully obviously enough we're gonna shove it back into this uh 12 and hopefully turn the key and uh you know fire it off hopefully it's gonna be a semi-smooth easy episode hopefully but you know if you've been watching for a while that never works well so let me get this thing up in the air and, uh, you know, try to oof this thing in before I actually, uh, put this thing in, I want to put the, uh, screens, I guess over the top of the carbs so that, uh, hopefully if any junk, you know, is floating around. It's, you know, not, not, not going to go down the holes because, you know, that, that'd be bad. We just took the time to get this thing, you know, back together. And hopefully it's going to run with zero issue. So let's, uh, let's hopefully prevent it from blowing up right out the box. What is this one? This one's not even the one I used. He Man strength, shoot, I screwed that up. Yeah, if you're wondering, they are high-tech velocity stack, uh, stack screens. A um, lot of speed shops uh, carry them. Uh, my my favor, favorite is uh, Home Depot. Uh, you you want to get the black, you know, screen mesh. Looks good, kind of blends in. But let's get this thing set to where hopefully it wants to just, you know, poop in. We're, ho we're hoping it we're hoping it goes smoothly so let me get it let me get it into position and then uh i'll try and back in all right guys we look semi aligned so we'll uh let's we'll start dropping this thing on really should have took this tire off so i could see what the hell i'm doing how we looking? I can go forward some. Sides look good. Also, if you see a problem, don't uh, don't be afraid to yell. What are we looking like? Good there. How are we up here? Carbs are clearing. Everything. What is that? that that's gonna be a problem. Give it another forward boop. Not, not too much. Now we got to start using the science and the precision. And the flashlight. What are we looking like? Looking good there. All right. We'll, we'll keep going down. Something hit. What's moving? That ah, crud. What? I think we might have a problem. Eh, it's not really a big problem. It's uh, my ratchet strap I have. You can't see what I'm talking about. Ratchet strap I have holding the uh, uh, trans in line. Well, it, the buckle is hitting the uh, exhaust or not the exhaust the heater thing crap 
How are you on that side? Well, can I rotate it? Ugh. Might be able to rotate that. Because we still got, we still got, you know, inches to go. All right, let me lift this. You, you. I'm gonna lift this thing back up, reposition that strap, because I do want to keep that transmission, uh, you know, held in place, so it's not saggy. And I'll get back to you. All right, we're gonna try this and see if we got more room going this way. Pro probably not. But, you know, good old try. All right, let's see what we're doing. So I'm wondering if I just move the problem to the other side right now. Because that would be my luck. Looking mildly good. All right, we had a bump. So what was the bump? Ah, what are we touching? Nothing there. Nothing there. It looks like it's going to clear. That's cleared. That's clear. Eek. Bump it up just a bit. <clears throat> Maybe that aligned it. I know you can't see what I'm doing. And also, we, you're not missing much. I'm just crawling around under here like, uh, you know, uh, like I'm 20. Boop, boop. Oh, jeez. Oh. I am not 20. Anyway, there's schmutz on my face again. They Always with... Whatever. We're, we're, we're dealing with it. I'll fix it in the next cut. Gotta look good for the cameras. Insta bath. Anyway. She's 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 sliding in. I think everything is good. Where my uh, probably gonna pull these wheels. Just makes life a little easier. Oh yeah. You're almost bolted up. Cool. Engine is, you know, in, it, in its home. <coughs> Gonna hopefully lower this down a little more now that everything's aligned and uh, the front bar dropped the pins in or dropped the bolts in. I'm hoping everything just kind of falls, falls into alignment now because it, it hopefully really should. these things because once I get these and I can uh, lift uh, the car again because the trans I mean even though there's nothing in the middle supporting it um, the train the front bar and the trans support it and then you can put all the bolts in crappy thing is there's nothing to really pry on in here Well, well, nothing I really want to. Oh, crap. 
that's the inside feels okay-ish. I mean, it, it's not close, but I mean, maybe you get a little screwdriver. Let's try the other side. It, it seemed like it was working a little better over here. How about now? No. no. Just give it to me. Damn it. Can I get it from the other side? I probably screwed everything up now. Calm down. Boom. Two in. Let's zip some nuts on these things. Huck. Which ones are they? We're going with these. Boop. And beep. What size was that? Do you guys remember? Because I don't. Broom. <laughs> Loud noises! Engine hopefully is secure enough. I'm gonna leave this thing rolling and lift the car and make sure that not, you know nothing falls out. So you know I'm not lying to you. Because lying would be bad. Oh, it didn't fall. Alright. Engine in-ish. I'm gonna raise it up, get under there, and see uh, see what I got going on. All right, wait, well, stop looking up. I'm not telling you to look up yet. All right, look up. Uh, trans, this is what I was talking about. I just ran, just wrapped it around. Um, the key is now to, you know, look at me now. The key is now to fish it out of here, which shouldn't be an issue. Just gotta pull it from the uh, top side. It's just the way I have it. Have it, you know, a little loop-de-dooped around. So, I'll uh, get this thing all discombobulated, lower the car again, pull it out from the top, and then pull it back down from the bottom. Just because it has that rubber, you know, rubber thing around it. So that'll come out easy. Uh, what, what do I got? What, do I, what, what brain, brain functions do I, <coughs> excuse me, do I want to run now? Let's see. That, that. Oh, I'm just gonna keep, you know, whatever. Let me get that thing out because it's currently annoying me. I'll be right back. Move light. Just so, you know, no magic trickery involved. Ow. <sighs> gonna pull a strap out, like I said, out of this side, and then just drop it back down the other side. What are you? Stop it. And then, this is the easiest way I found not to break anything. And I didn't mean break, I mean, you know, support stuff because the only thing holding it is that rear uh rear mount and you don't want to put extra you know strain on that look i'm a magician anywho that's out so now all that's left is uh you know connect the things underneath uh i got heaters you know here heat heater controls flaps engine bolts obviously uh, I got two of those. Starter, I think I got a bolt in. I can't remember if I left that loose or not. Uh, 
Stay tuned on that one. Uh, yeah. And, you know, put all this stuff back up. But I think what I'm going to do, and it, I don't know, been, been fishing this around since, you know, you know, put, put the engine in the car literally with it, you know, however long ago it's been in the car. Anyway, I think I might bench fire it. You know, might, might throw the exhaust on just to have an exhaust on there. Just kind of put it on there. Um, nope, nope, I'm not going to do that. I'm confident we're going to bolt this thing all together, turn the key, you know, we're going to, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go. Why, why second guess yourself? I mean, it's, it, it's got to do it again. Good news is all the bolts are going to be loose. So let me, uh, I'm going to roll time lapse and start putting all these, you know, you know, if there was any way I could crawl even further into this engine bay, I probably would. It's like the, the, the for taking it out. Helpful, you know, air cool motor works, machine and die and tool and welding company, whatever the heck I called it. Um, helped a lot. But, uh, then user, me, on the other end, forgot to clean the threads. So, that bolts in. Uh, I got one more on this side. The uh, top, top one on this side. And uh, motor's actually locked in. All the progress. Ooh. All right, all the bolts are in. Top's nice and snug, tightish or whatever. Just realized I uh, moved my camera and I lost a lot of the time lapse uh, of actually, you know, putting the engine in. So that's good. But anywho, let me uh, keep on by doing all the stuff underneath it. You know, heat shield, muffler, so on and so forth. All right, guys, it's been a you know long day, long night. It's actually the next day for me. Um, I think after the last clip, I, uh, well, I ended, I did a little tinkering, but still got the exhaust, a little heat shield thing and exhaust that I'm going to be throwing on. Hopefully the other camera is going to, you know, cooperate because that'd be nice. Um, if you want to see how to put the engine actually in, just watch the video of taking it out backwards. That's what I got for you. But anywho, let me get this thing up in the air and uh, start slamming uh, heat shields and um, what muffler on. You know, I want to get this thing fired today. Maybe drive it, but at least get it running. So stay tuned. And out of curiosity, if uh, any of you are, you know, have a lift at home or work in a shop, do you raise and lower the car like the little teapot? It's just curious because I think I pump gas the same way. I said it, but um, I'm probably just gonna be, you know, loose, loosely affixing this uh, this exhaust on here because I'm probably gonna have to take it off again. And the reason I say that is uh, where it bolts into the heater box, it's it's just blown apart. So I'm probably gonna end up um, sleeving it and fixing it. Uh, it depends, it depends on how well it wants to cooperate when it goes back together and, you know, actually seals. But if it's a huge leak, it's coming back off. Run it by, uh, run it, obviously I'm going to run it by the owner before I, uh, you know, start cutting apart his exhaust system because, I don't know, he might have a new tailpipe for this thing. So, we'll find out. I'll continue, continue monotonizingly putting this on but uh i think what i'm gonna do is i'm rambling and i'm good at it but uh i'm gonna continue putting this exhaust on uh, i'm not even gonna worry about ha the hangers in the back so and so forth or the tailpipe i just need i just want to hear this thing hopefully run and i can uh square that away 
you know, later. Especially if I'm, you know, I'd have to take it if I'm taking this pipe off um, again to fix it. That's just more stuff I have to take apart. So, bare minimum for a bare minimum for an engine fire. All right, guys. Uh, finishing up the last odds and ends of uh, the electrical. Re uh, reconnecting the generator right now. The coils connected. The oil pressure thing is there. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, temperature switch. The pressure switch. The taco and um, what else? Coil, 12 volt switch, power. That's all on. So uh, hopefully, hopefully I can find a screwdriver. That'll work. Um, all right. That's tight, that's tight, that's on. I'll come back and snip that but all right right now just go go on the corner just go 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 somewhere useful all right electrical's done uh everything up top's good exhaust is you know at least connected on the front the the tubes like i said they're blown out so uh i, I don't have clamps on it so it might be a little louder than normal but um, got to reconnect the battery and hopefully, uh, reconnect the battery and hopefully this thing fires off. Didn't change anything with the timing, the carbs, well, they're, they're, they're messed with. So we're going to have to resync them because, you know, trying to, b before the, you know, realized the valves broke, you know, trying to up the idle on that. Time. Anyway, they were, they were, they were tinkered with. So, uh. I know at least one side's empty. The other side, who knows? Uh, it might still have fuel in it. But uh, let me connect the battery and twist on this key and see uh, see if she makes any noise. Oh boy! Contact, maybe. I have no starter. Hmm, that's good. So, turn the key. It doesn't do anything. Good. Hoping I knocked the wire loose on the starter. So, let me, uh, let me crawl under there and see uh, what's going on. All right, wire. <coughs> Hopefully it was as simple as that. Wire from the, uh, you know, to the, well, you can't follow me. The wire that goes to the starter for key, you know, to tell it to do the blue and the cranky. Uh, hopefully it was simple as that because I was off, you know, maybe jiggle wiggling around it. You know, I, I don't know. It came undone. But let me get this thing back down, twist the key and uh, see if see if she does something. All right. Ready? Let's turn this key and see if something happens. Otherwise, I'll just, you know. Be embarrassed again, that's fine. Great, now the battery's weak. Uh, let me put some juices on it and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, let's spin a little faster because I need to pump to prime the carbs to, you know, make it go vroom. So stay tuned. All right, I'm impatient. Uh, it's been probably, I don't know, 15 minutes. So, you know, not enough, not enough time, but maybe, maybe we'll have enough to, uh, you know, crank her over and get it to start. Let's try it again. <laughs> oh, she's going to, hopefully. I just need the fuel to pump. Huh? Well,
There's definitely feel, and I know that because now I have a huge leak. Yep, just the way it is. Tighten one fuel line, forgot about the other one. You guys saw me tighten it. I know, I know it was in the video. Probably flooding is what I'm doing. Not good, but it runs. All right, we can work with this. Ooh, smoky. Sucks because I don't have throttle control. All right, what I was saying is uh, I'm going to let this thing warm up. I mean, you can tell. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's smoky. It's all the assembly, uh, lube. You saw the oil in the cylinder, so on and so forth. So uh, she, she, I mean, fire. She, I mean, it's smooth. All right, let me turn the key, see if she fires. There's fuel. Um, what was happening is that bowl, I guess, wasn't filled. I was revving. It wasn't doing anything. Finally, I guess the float maybe got stuck. Who knows? Um, but now she's, there's fuel in it. Let's see if she'll just twist and light off. Kinda. Well, she's a runner. I'm gonna, I just got a couple little odds and ends to clear up or clean up, um, you know, fix the exhaust, so and so forth. Uh, don't know if I said that. I gotta re, 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 reconnect things. Um, but uh, I'm pretty sure I said that. I, ah, rambling again. I know. But gotta finish up a couple odds and ends. Um, just gonna do that, you know, not quickly, but you know, off off camera, whatever. And um, hopefully, next scene you see is us going for a little, you know, test drive in this thing. So stay tuned and let's see how this thing performs. All right, guys, next scene for you. It's been about a week for me. Car's still here, haven't done a test drive, but we're doing that today. Um, really, the reason was, uh, talk to the owner. He asked me if I want, you know, could get the fuel gauge working. Had to order a float. Thank you, FedEx, taking a week to get it to me because you've lost the frickin' thing. Love shipping nowadays. I, I think I've complained about it before, but what are you gonna do? So, threw a float in there, it has a gauge. Well, the needle moves now, so. It could be accurate. But anywho, also I've been fighting with tuning on this car. In a combination between it being a wore out engine, um, it does pull good compression in all cylinders, I mean, actually even. But, um, uh, didn't, didn't really know what was quite, was quite, 
Couldn't figure out what was going on with the tuning. I mean, I have different jets in it now. So, you know, uh, idle circuit, I mean, was super rich. Uh, couldn't, couldn't get it to lean out is what I guess what I'm getting at. Come to find out the factory mechanical fuel pump pushing out about, you know, 4.7 pissies. Weber's do not like 4.7, two and a half max, give or take. So in my infinite wisdom and genius that I have going on, let me flip you guys around. We, uh, you know, just uh, hoodooed in a cheapy fuel pressure regulator off the uh, stock mechanical. So now is it, you know, the best? No. Is it running correctly? Yes. I also had to break out all of the, uh, all of the science, instead, in, including a, uh, you know, fuel air, uh, fuel air gauge. Still running 10, it's still right, it's still running, it says it's still rich. I, I, at this point, I don't know what's going on with that. But rich means not gonna blow up. Um, it doesn't gas me out of the shop anymore. I guess what I'm getting at with the rambling is let me get this thing turned over. We're doing a complete cold start. It's about 40 something degrees here in Louisville. Um, gonna do a complete cold start on this thing, see how she fires up because apparently 912s are notorious for, you know, hard cold starts. I just don't believe it. All right. Uh, uh, what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? Two pumps? We'll do two pumps and a hold. So kind of three. One, two, hold down, and let's twist her off. Not bad. Do another two and or hold. There's an engine. Ah! All right, I mean, they're 40. They don't have a choke. I'm gonna let this, uh, 40's no choke. I mean, she spits and spurted. I wasn't pumping the hell out of her, uh, as you can tell, but, uh, she started relatively well. I'm gonna let this thing warm up. I'm gonna set up, set up all my high tech, you know, cameras and things, and uh, you know, we'll go for a drive. Because been here too long. So stay tuned. Hopefully, next scene you'll see me. You know, well, we'll we'll be we'll be driving around on this cold morning. I, do I have heat? Probably not. Good. I should have cleaned these windows.
I've been keeping an eye on a higher rev just mainly because, uh, you know, highway driving, but I'm city driving, so I'm trying to drain the bowls for, uh, you know, see what the fuel pressure would be doing, you know, at a higher RPM, but, uh, seems to be doing fine. I wish the tap was more accurate just so I knew what I was actually turning, because it's, uh, kind of all over the map. I mean, lugging this car, it says I'm doing three grand. I know I'm not. All right guys, 912, we're back at the shop. She drove well, did my normal 20 mile-ish loop on it. Kept that at a higher RPM um, and lower gearing or lower gears, just because, like I, I think I've said this many times, I do city driving. Uh, I wanted to perform in the city. Highway, they usually are fine, but I keep them in a higher gear. Number one, I want to rag out that engine. Um, and because I have that cheapy uh, fuel pressure regulator in here, I want to make sure that it's not gonna, you know, drain Drain the old float bowls. So when it is at a higher RPM is kind of what I'm getting at. Seems like it might be having a delivery issue on the fuel. Uh, not really sure. It it acts weird sometimes, I guess, is what I'm getting. And then sometimes it doesn't. I, I, I don't know. I'm just going to tell the owner to monitor it. And uh, if it needs to be addressed, you know, I'll address it, obviously. Um, that'd be, you know, pretty much on me. But with that said, everything should be wrapped up with this car. It runs, it drives. Is it 100%? No. Is it better than 20? 100% it is. So I guess we're gonna put 100% somewhere in this equation. So it's 100% better than 20, I, I guess is what, 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 what I'm going with on this. But anywho, if you like this episode, as always, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. If you do, we will chit chat, I promise you that. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you on the next one.